today we are talking about, this is a topic that comes up all the time. It's been coming up nonstop in my mastermind conversations inside the Alliance. It comes up on coffee chats. It's come up in, um, if you watch my No Bullshit Biz with Nick on LinkedIn, those live, that live show that I've been doing, um, it's coming up in that conversation. And it's this conversation around changing, pivoting, adapting, evolving. I know so many people are sick of the word pivoting, but I think that for whatever reason, it's with any word, you know, it got overused. But the reality is, is what's more important to me and what I want you to gain from this is being willing to adapt to the changing marketplace, to the changing industry, to the changing environment, um, adapting to the needs of your client, and understanding and seeing certain trends, okay? And what I'm talking about here is this industry kind of shift, what I'm seeing in 2022. Now, again, you have to always understand that these are just the conversations that I have in the circles that I work in and the people that I surround myself in, okay? I'm sure there's somebody out there that would negate every ounce of what I'm about to say, and so be it, okay? But what I'm seeing is a need to change and adapt in a bit to giving people a lower entry point offer. I think the days of high ticket, high commitment, big, big signature offers, this whole big, long, you know, I think that there's still a need for that depending on the service that you provide. But for many service providers, I think what's happened and what I'm seeing is obviously there's a lot of uncertainty in the world right now, which I refuse to have conversation around um, publicly. And there's just a lot going on. And so in a period of uncertainty, people are not necessarily willing to always commit to these big high packages, right? And that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not willing to invest in their business. It doesn't mean that it's got to be priced in a you know, certain way. But what I'm also finding too, is that everybody's just busy. Like when I talk to people, I know that that's another word that gets overused. How are you doing? Busy, busy. Everybody says it like it's a code, of, like it's an honor, you know, like, oh, it's busy. Who the hell isn't busy? Like we're all busy, right? So there's this side of being willing to understand that having these high level, high touch programs may be more overwhelming than helping in a lot of ways, right? Like people are in this state from what I'm seeing in this state of needing these immediate quick wins, like these short, sweet, quick wins. What can we do? Help me out, get me through this struggle right now and then move on, right? And so I really wanna encourage you to look at your offers and see like, do you have a lower entry point offer? Do you have something where people can, um, you know, try things out with you. I also think what's happened is that a lot of people got burned. You know, they got burned by these high end packages. They got burned by these big, these big name coaches. They, you know, they put nine, you know, five to ten thousand dollars into a package, and it's really not what they need, and they're burned, and so they're not willing to invest in it again. All right, and I'm going to give you a perfect example of this. I think I've even talked about this multiple times. You've probably heard me mention it a lot. Of you know, somebody who reached out to me, it was a cold lead. She found me through LinkedIn and um, we had a great conversation. We had a great discovery call. She told me she was going to let me know um, what her decision was to work with a coach in Q2. And then I no sooner got an email that said, I can't make a decision. I'm not ready. I still need to find more clarity around this and I'm just not ready to do it. Okay, fine. And I responded back with, all right, you know what? But I do offer power hours if it's ever a good fit. If you ever just need to get unstuck you're needing to find that clarity and I can help, let me know. I've got this power hour, here's what it is. And so she immediately booked it, like within a week. I think she booked it, paid, you know, the whole bit. And then from there, she decided to move on to my higher level coaching package. But had I not offered her this lower entry point offer, would I be working with her right now? I, I'd like to say yes, but I really don't think so. I don't, I really don't. I think there would have been a lot of, um, questioning. I just don't think she would have understood the value in the big investment. And so I really am finding 
that some of these lower entry point offers work. The VIP day model, the power hour model, um, this laser coaching package is what I'm, you know, the rapid fire, I'm calling it rapid fire, laser coaching, whatever, because it's not a huge time or financial commitment. It doesn't mean it's bad. It doesn't mean I don't credit, you know, it doesn't mean I disvalue my services in any way, shape or form. It's me saying, here's what I see as a need. I, I've also experienced it as a client. I love it. And I'm going to throw it out there because I really think this is what my audience is needing. And it's resonating, right? You know why? Because it's quick. It gives them quick wins, right? It's not this overwhelming commitment on their calendar every single week. Like they've got to meet with their coach every single week. They can meet whenever it's convenient for them. And it's not overwhelming. You're dealing with one thing, you know, one issue, one struggle, one thing that's keeping them stuck dealing with it, moving on and going forward, right? So you really, it's just this place of needing to understand and be open to your environment, right? And again, like your low entry point offer doesn't have to be cheaper. You know, there's, I've got one client who her low entry point offer is cheaper, you know, than her packages because it makes sense, right? She wants people to try it out. She wants people to experience what it's like. And so it's kind of like a one-time deal. It's not like they can continue to get this lower price. Um, it's just a, hey, here, let's experience it. Let's see if you like it. Now, there's another side to where like my power hour is almost the same exact price as one month of laser coaching with me, right? Why? Because it's a one-off. It's the same amount of work. I'm giving you an entire hour. So Again, there's pricing and positioning, packaging, how you do that, that's a, that's a conversation for another day. Go watch the route masterclass if you need to, um, because we talk a lot about that in there. But my point in this episode right now is, is there a change that needs to be made inside of your business to adjust and adapt to the needs of your market and to the industry and just the world as a, as a whole? You know, those are what you need to. And I really, really, really think that these lower entry point offers, I, I've i been really studying TikTok. And I'll be honest with you, TikTok, you know, I talked to a, a woman who's making, you know, like three to $6,000 a month on a $22 offer. Now, don't get me wrong. These are game of numbers. That's a conversation for another day. But again, it's like it's giving people this low to no risk, right? Because it's $20, even $100, $200, whatever. It's a lower risk entry point into you to see, like, do they deliver on their value? Do they deliver on their promises? Do they give high value? You know, those are the things that people are looking for. And so, You've got to be willing to change and adapt. If you've got an offer that's not converting, look at it and figure out why. It doesn't mean that the offer is not good. I have my six-month coaching package. It's not that it's not converting, but it's just not what people need right now. You know, the conversations I'm having, I'm like, I don't really think you need that, you know? And so find the ways to change and adapt. It's not to say I'm getting rid of it. It's still there. If I have a conversation with somebody and they want that high level that accountability, that weekly calls, the one hour, it's very, very structured with the detailed call notes, the whole bit, blah, blah, blah. If they want that, I have it available. But if it's not what they need, I have other options available too, right? So find these, it's not to say completely revamp your offers. It's saying, you know, like I keep my, I call my power hour back pocket offer. Well, it's time to bring it to the front pocket, right? Like I'm going to bring it to the front for the summer, especially for the summer, because I just feel like it is that need like let's just deal with this one thing one thing right now that's all people can handle like most people cannot handle all the things right they only need to deal with this one thing in this moment so um i don't know again it's not necessarily commitment financially it's more of a commitment both on, on both ends that's what i'm saying both time and financial and so what can you do to make sure you can give people a quick win while also honoring the fact that they're not needing or wanting that high level commitment. All right. Um, I could talk about this all day long. I may talk about it again. And like I said, Nick and I are talking about it on the No Bullshit Biz show. You're happy, you know, welcome to join that. I'll make sure that link is in the show notes there. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, truly. I'd love for you to jump into my Facebook group. Tell me your thoughts. What are you seeing? Are you seeing is this a need? Is this just the circle I'm in? Is it in the circle you're you're in? Um Let's open up the conversation because I think it's a conversation worth having. Well, it's a conversation I have on a regular, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it as well. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys soon.